Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. So, um, I have one comment on one video saying, we want to see more detail than, than you talking about detail and this, this, and this, which is, you know, it's understandable. I understand that. So, um, I'm gonna give y'all some of those videos where it's more so just detailing and, and less talking. So, and I'm gonna see how those videos do. If those videos do good, then I'll give y'all more. If they don't do good, then I'll go back to my regular old style of doing video. So, um, in this video, like you see in the, in the um, comments, we're gonna be talking about just creating boundaries and stuff like that and how I created boundaries with my mobile detailing business. Um, and the reason why I do these talking videos are I show y'all a little bit of the detail and then I kind of talk to y'all is because I feel like with my channel, I want, I want to give a different perspective when it comes to certain things, being a dad, being a fiance and being a mobile detailer. Um, a lot of times these other, uh, detailing channels that I watch, I can't relate to some of the things they're talking about. I can't relate to the things that they're doing sometimes because I have to, I have to move a little differently because of my situation. Um, I can't do some of the things that they do. So that's why on my channel, I want, I want y'all, if you're a parent, if you married or about to be married or, you know, or whatever, I want y'all to be able to, um, relate to my content and the way I do things and say, okay, damn, I didn't think I'd be able to do that, but I can do it, you know, Mo's doing it or whatever. So that's, that's the reason why I make these videos and stuff like the one I'm making today on basically create how, how to create like boundaries or, and just give it my opinion. A lot of times this, this is just my opinion on things. So you don't have to do things that I do. Um, because for me, my family comes first, my daughter comes first. So I have to, it's my daughter and, and my family and I have to do things around that. So like I said, um, creating boundaries is a very important thing um, because at some point, some point in your business, you gotta stop hustling. It, it, it stops being a hustle and you have to start like running a business. Like if, if some of y'all will understand, like at one point you're not hustling anymore. You're not doing every single car um, to nine, ten o'clock. You're running a business, and a lot of businesses, a lot of times they, they like for me. I'm open Sunday through Saturday, nine a.m. to seven p.m. A lot of businesses are closed like Saturday, Monday, or for the weekend or whatever. So it, it's just like making that transitions, that transition, and then also making that boundaries with your with your customer because it's very very important. Um, for me, I don't answer the phone until 9 a.m. At when 9 a.m. hit, then we start texting people back. We start sending messages back. We don't we don't answer the phone. We don't send no messages until 9 a.m. And 7 p.m. is the cutoff time. If somebody sends a message at 7.30, sometimes I'll answer them back. But after 7 o'clock, I don't answer any calls and I don't send any text messages. I don't answer text messages as well. And the reason being is because I have to turn off mode of detailing and become mode of dad. Um, I, even though I don't ever turn Mo to dad off, but it's more so now it's Mo to dad full time after that time is giving her uh, as much attention as I can, even though I may be doing videos and stuff. So in this video, we're gonna be doing a GMC Acadia um, and we're just talking about creating boundaries. Alright, this one is a little not too bad. Uh, we're gonna do a bronze interior, so nothing too crazy, we're not shampooing seats or nothing. Get this stuff off of them. Look like it's from a car seat. But other than that, the crumbs, it's not really the worst. Don't look like anybody really sit back here. But, yeah. Alright, we gotta pull the mats out. Thank <laughs> you. 
I created like a final inspection checklist. As y'all can see, uh, we not gonna do the exterior cause it's kinda drizzling. So we're just gonna do the interior and basically it is, you see what it is. So I will go through everything, make sure that I hit all this stuff and then check it off. Well, I wouldn't check it off until a customer come outside, but basically call them outside. Um, just you know check it off as we go um, do a little final walk around with them make sure that everything is hit everything is good and they're happy and then once they once i'm finished with it uh once everything is checked off they have them sign here and that's pretty much it uh, but we finished with it got this stuff off y'all right, so we are about to head out um so this customer is a repeat customer i've already done um his truck twice and never got to the wife's um little suv so what we were supposed to do was a mini interior and a basic um just a little basic wash which is my bronze package that i have um and because it's drizzling on and off i asked him if he wanted me to wash it he said nah let's just uh we'll say that for another day just do the inside which is totally fine with me now the condition that y'all saw it in like the stuff on the seat i didn't shampoo the seats or anything like that but i did wipe them down like a little thoroughly and i got the stuff off the seat now if it was not a re this is a repeat customer i never have an issue with them or anything like that they respect my time they know the boundaries i would have charged them way more to to take that stuff off the seat but i know it wasn't going to take much all it took was spraying it down hit it with the drill and it took all of what 10 probably 10 minutes to take the stuff off the seats and make it look decent um so stuff like that if it's not if the rest of the interior isn't bad i don't mind knocking that type of stuff out now if that's all if the, the all the seats would look like that then obviously i would have to charge for a full interior detail but because it's a repeat customer and it was just that one seat they had a car seat they had to have a car seat right there like i said it doesn't bother me at all but but the another another thing you got to remember with creating some boundaries is basically um just rem remember this remember your customers are not your friends remember that they are customers they are not your friends so don't treat them as such um don't get you don't want to get that close you want to have some type of relationship and you know be able to um when you see them you know talk to them find out stuff about them and stuff like that you want to that's what i do i you know i find out stuff about them talk to them about oh to cars or whatever i don't watch sports so i can't talk to them about sports but i can talk to them about little, little things you know make them feel more comfortable with using your service and all that good stuff but you have to remember that customers are not your friends they are your customers so you have to treat them as such even uh, you can't let them um you have to create that boundary that boundary with them um once you create those boundaries and you start stop hustling and you transition to running it as a business i'm telling you things get a whole it's it's a whole different ball game then people respect your time you don't have the issue of um like all right another example i want to give is like for customers that say i get a customer that does not want to send pictures that don't want to do any of the things that i say that i need you to do in order for me to come and service your vehicle i create that boundaries either you don't do it or i don't come if you don't send pictures i don't give a price and i don't come if you don't answer back i'm not gonna bother you and, and keep asking you do you still want to do a detail i give my maintenance customers one time and some people may disagree with me i give them one time to not answer back i one time so i'll send them a message hey do you want to schedule for this month they don't answer back after that one time that's it i'll let them come to me when they're ready for a detail they'll think about it and they'll come they'll come and say hey mo can you come this month 
and that's what that is what it is i create that boundary where i'm, I'm not your friend and i'm not gonna keep begging you to do in detail this is this is how i'm gonna do it and this is how this is how we are going to do it and this is how it's gonna operate so like i said y'all um there's a lot of things that i'm missing points that i'm missing but y'all keep watching the videos when it comes to me come to me i'll make a video about it so um thank you for watching i hope you have a have a great day and i'll see y'all the next one peace